everyone, my name is Isaac from the Innovation Consortium. And today I would like to share with you about advice. What advice is, where we use it, and how to use it. Mm. On my table here, in this particular machine, I have this component. And this, in particular, is what we call a vice. <clears throat> so, briefly, I'll explain what a vice is. A vice is just a work holding device we use for clamping work pieces when performing any operations or hand operations or machine operations that would be maybe drilling, uh, filing, uh, cutting with the hacksaw. So those are some of the hand operations. When cutting with the hacksaw, you'll need a vise. When drilling a hole on a machine like this one, a drilling machine, you'll need a vise to clamp your workpiece. So basically, that's the the basic definition of a vise. It's a device we use for clamping uh, work pieces before doing an operation on it. So I'll explain or give some examples of vices we have or the vices we use. So to start with, I'll start with some of the types of vices uh, we use in our daily works um, and some of them the first one is this one you're seeing here this one is a drill vise these ones particularly we use them on these drilling machines the pillar drills uh, we have bench vices those ones we use them on on actually hand works the ones I, I, I was talking about the the cutting the filing those ones are particularly on the working benches or working tables. Uh, we have pipe vices. Those ones are also normal on, <clears throat> on working tables. Uh, those ones particularly clamp pipes or sections or square sections or round sections. Uh, so those are the three commonly used types of vices in the workshop. Uh, to explain further, uh, basically on the working principle, how a vice works. A vice, it has two jaws. These are what we call the jaws. This and this, these are jaws. But the difference, this jaw is normally fixed, doesn't move, and the other jaw moves. So it can move forward and backward. The vice has this screw here, it has a nut inside here there are threads and the screw also has threads and it has a handle plus the base this is the base this is the fixed jaw the moving jaw the screw and the nut plus the handle so those are the the parts uh, to get the principle we have the screw and the nut and the moving jaw and the fixed jaw. So whenever I hold my handle, I rotate it. Here I'm rotating it anti-clockwise. So you're seeing the jaw is moving backward. So whenever I rotate the handle, it's rotating the screw. The screw through the nut, it's transcending backwards. So that's how the vise opens. So when I rotate clockwise, it will be moving forward. So it's only the direction which changes. Backward, then forward. Clockwise, forward. Uh, so as to clamp the workpiece. So I might give an example. If I have a section, take for instance this one. It's a square section or a square pipe. If I want to clamp it, Right here it's not fitting, meaning I'll have to rotate anti-clockwise so as to achieve the gap of the pipe. I place it inside and I rotate clockwise. 
I lock this pipe with the help of the handle. So the handle gives us the desirable torque or the tightness of the pipe or any workpiece you're holding in the vise. So you tighten the workpiece. As you can see, the workpiece can't move anymore because it's held within the vise. And then the operations begin. So right in front of me here, I'm having a drill vise and I would like to differentiate it from the other two types of vices that is the table vise and the, the pipe vise uh, this one in particular it has the same working operation or the working principle but the difference the base of this particular one is ground smoothly and leveled and flat so that it can sit on the working table this is the working table over here of the drilling machine. So it has to sit flat on the working table. So as we get squareness while performing any drilling operations. So for it, it sits flat onto the table. So when I bring the workpiece, take for instance, I have my section here. When I clamp it inside the vise, it will have to to get a square hole since the vise is sitting flat on the table. So <clears throat> that is the main difference between this particular type of vise, the drilling vise and the table vise or the, the pipe vise. For it, it's flat. The base is flat and ground to flatness so that it can be accommodated by the table to achieve the squareness of any hole being drilled on the drilling machine. That is the, the main difference. So to give an example or an experiment, or a practical experiment, I will drill a hole inside this section of mine, and we see the squareness I'm talking about. <clears throat> Basically, I'm having a hole in this square section. It's a through hole. And it, did, it didn't move off the center. So it's the vice which made me achieve, which made me achieve that squareness of the hole. This is what we call the table vice. As you can see, it's already even clamped on the table this is the working table in any workshop any workshop has a working table mm. the table flies as i as i said earlier on we use it for hand operations or hand works that is filing cutting with axles uh, and many uh, and many other works hand works actually so the working principle of the table vise is the same actually with the one of the drilling vise or the pipe vise. They all have screws and the nut inside. So unfortunately we can't open this one but you'll be getting a split, an exploded view of this vise. It also has a nut inside and there is a screw also inside. So whenever I rotate the handle the same as the drilling vise, it had a handle. This is the screw. Whenever I rotate the, the, the handle clockwise, you can see the jaw is moving in front. When I rotate anti-clockwise, you can see the jaw moving backward as well. So it's the same working principle. I rotate anti-clockwise, there is a moving jaw and a fixed jaw. So the fixed jaw remains in one position. Then the moving jaw, whenever I rotate the screw, the moving jaw moves a certain direction. Anti-clockwise, it opens. Clockwise, it closes. So as to clamp, 
the particular workpiece we are working upon. So one example on how this vice works, I'll get my square section still, place it between the jaws, I rotate clockwise, you can see the jaw moving, ah, and there you go, it has clamped the pipe. So the handle still, it gives you the, the desired torque or the tightness of the workpiece. You can see it still loose. I tighten more, now it's tight. It's firmly tightened. So meaning, there I can do the handwork. Now I'll be doing the handwork called cutting actually with the hacksaw. I'm going to cut with the hacksaw. My workpiece is firmly held. Now I'll be able, I'll be able to cut without any vibrations. Since my workpiece, since my workpiece is firmly held in the vise. So so far, those are the two types of vices. Uh, the other, it's the pipe vise. The working principle is also the same. Uh, it has a screw, it has a handle, and the moving jaw and the fixed jaw. So basically, all vices have the same working principle. I remain Isaac from the Innovation Consortium. Thank you very much. Keep tuned in for our next episodes of Outro.